Hey guys, welcome for Game Bat today, bringing another video for our weapon conversion series. And today we're going to cover the brand new weapon, the AS Val, that was released here in Season 6, unlocked at Tier 31. So at base, this weapon is an AS Val, and I did use a variation of this, or a conversion yesterday, the VSS Ventura. So today we're just going to cover a modern depiction of the AS Val, how to create it here in game. Also stay tuned for giveaway details here later in this video. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here we have our design for the AS Val that we've committed with the attachments here. Let's go ahead and back out really quick and we'll take a look at the Battle Pass where you unlock this weapon. So again, Season 6 Battle Pass, this is unlocked at Tier 31. You get the AS Val and actually a surprise, they kept the real name of the, of the weapon in real life. It seems like for the Russian weapons, they actually named them correctly versus the the US weapons and German weapons, etc. The H&K weapons, they named differently. So good to see it actually retain the real life name. So we'll go ahead and back out and go back to our custom class setup where we have this built. So first off, going to weapons here, or first let's take a look at the operator. So here we have Bale with the AS Val set up, and that just looks awesome. Really nice to see a modern Spetsnaz operator with a good Spetsnaz weapon such as the AS Val. So go ahead and back out and let's take a look at the weapon, how to build this into the AS Val that is used in modern day conflicts by Spetsnaz operators. So first off, we'll strip this down. Now there's a couple different options here, but the barrel, we're actually gonna keep the base barrel. You can see first off, we have the rail systems mounted on this weapon. We have one almost on the bottom there. It's really at kind of the seven or eight o'clock of the, the integral suppressed barrel. We have rail systems on the bottom. We have also a couple different connectors here on the left and right side as well of the weapon. So we're gonna keep the base barrel. You do have some options though, however, the base barrel is 200 millimeters as I discussed yesterday in the VSS Ventura's video. You also have this option here for the VLK 200 millimeter, which is just a heavier integrally suppressed monolithic barrel. It's gonna give you damage and range as well as increase that bullet velocity a little bit, but you can see the stats really not too much there. The range is gonna go up a little bit, but it's not too significant in my opinion, to really use the attachment for it. So we're gonna leave the base barrel. Laser, we're gonna want the five milliwatt barrel, or five milliwatt laser. This is gonna assist with the hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. The concept of the laser is gonna be visible to enemies, but if you're sprinting or ADSing, that laser is not going to be visible. So this is gonna help us with that hip fire accuracy primarily, especially with this high rate of fire and the large caliber of the weapon, we're gonna to wanna to take advantage of that. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now for the optic, we're gonna, because this is a Russian weapon, we're gonna go to the Russian optic, the Viper reflex sight, or the Cobra optic as it's known in real life. It's gonna give us precision sight picture, as well as just a little negation there for the ADS speed. It is a lighter optic. So we can select that. Now one uh, thing to note, we do have the four times flip, which is an interesting addition to this weapon. I'm surprised, again, they've added this to the AN-94, as well as the AS Val, but not the AK-47, which is kind of interesting. But again, if we go ahead and keep looking around here we have different optics that you can use and use the apx5 is always a good one and then as well as the vlk 3.0 which is obviously a russian optic as well which would go pretty well on this particular weapon so we'll go ahead and leave our cobra optic go ahead and back out and now we're going to use the base stock here however you do have some other options you, you can use for the as value you can use the ffs gen 4 gru stock this again will assist with the ads speed and the cons here being Amy stability. This will give you a little bit more modernized look to the stock option here for the AS Val instead of the skeletonized stock. Then we also have the the 6B30, which is the grow designation for this weapon skeleton stock. So this is just another stock option that you can go with this. But again, I think either the FFS Gen 4 GRU is a good one, or just the base stock, which we're going to use here. We're not going to utilize another attachment for this one. So the grip, we're actually going to go with the rubberized grip tape. This is just going to assist with that recoil control, since the weapon does have some significant recoil control. If you're not used to controlling the recoil, the high rate, the heavy round and the high rate of fire on this weapon is going to cause it to kick a little bit. So this will help keep it under control. The only con here is the aiming stability. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now, ammunition at base, this is a 20 round magazine. We're gonna want, we do have the option here for the SR3M 30 round magazine here for the nine by 39 millimeter. So this is gonna increase our magazine capacity from 20 rounds of the nine by 39 up to 30, which is actually kind of necessary with this weapon and very significant. So very heavy round. So those extra 10 rounds are gonna help you put down at least an extra two to three enemies if you're hitting all your shots. So. The pros here, magazine ammo capacity, obviously the cons are the ADS speed and the movement speed. Since this is a pretty big round, uh, we're adding 10 more into the magazine for this. So it's gonna slow you down a little bit, but you can see with the actual stats there, not too much. So we'll go ahead and select that. 
Now the under barrel attachment, primarily since this is being built the way I'm using here for close quarters, uh, engagements really you want to engage really close to medium range I would say anything outside of 40 to 50 meters is gonna be no good with this particular build but we're gonna want a Merc foregrip this is just mainly for the hip fire accuracy with this this is gonna assist with the recoil control and the hip fire accuracy the cons here being the aim walking movement speed and the aim down sight speed so we'll select that and just know another option here if you're really just looking not to hip fire this and you're looking for overall recoil control your operator foregrip is actually appears to be the best option with this weapon. So if you're if you're mainly aiming down sights and trying to control that recoil, this is going to give you the best option for the recoil control is the operator foregrip. But since we're using this for mainly close quarters and hip fire engagements with that five milliwatt laser, we're going to go ahead and select the Merc foregrip. It's going to help us out a lot. So that's the final design for the AS Val Spetsnaz operator variant here. Um, now, unfortunately, we don't have an ASM valve, which would be a little bit more modernized. We would have a little bit differentiation to the integrally suppressed barrel would look just slightly different. We would have more rail systems on that first half of the rail where the uh, Merc foregrip is. That would be 360 degrees. We'd have essentially a quad rail system on that part of the integral suppressor. We would also have a rail, a uh, Picatinny rail dust cover. Instead of this kit, we have a rib dust cover, similar like we see with the AKMs, etc., and some of the 74 series. And we have that dovetail mount there on the left-hand side that we see with a lot of the AK variants as well. So the ASM Val would have a Picatinny rail dust cover, which would be really nice to see. But unfortunately, we don't have it here. Maybe we'll get it in a future blueprint, perhaps, as we saw with the PP-19 Bison did something very similar. So that's something to look forward to into the future as well. But this is our ASM value you can see here. Now, what do the camouflages look like on this weapon? If we were to put on some Spetsnaz type camouflages here, like a Spetsnaz Fall or the Canopy, you can see how it looks. Woodland is always a pretty decent option. And then for the splinters, we have like Spetsnaz Red or the Autumn Dazzle and the Angels or just another Woodland type look here which is actually doesn't look too bad but for this weapon i prefer to keep it all black i think it's very aesthetically pleasing and looks really nice for this so just some things to note here is that we do have the dovetail mount here on the right hand side of the weapon as we do with a lot of the ak platforms it also shares very similar fire control systems for the ak platforms we have the charging handle on the right hand side right above the magazine there we also have the same fire control system layout as we do on the ak platform of weapons there right above the trigger guard on the right hand side so very beautiful weapon. You can see overall very detailed. This is the first time we've had an AS Val in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I'll go ahead and we'll just preview this. You can see the recoil pattern for this is going to be very straightforward. It's just going to be up and slightly to the right on this weapon. Very easy to control. And again, like I said, if you're looking for the best recoil control on this, if you're really trying to engage with it, uh, the Operator 4 goes your ADS in and firing this thing. The Operator 4 is going to help you the best for the underbarrel options. But again, here we're using it mainly for hip fire accuracy we want and those closer quarters engagements so the Merc foregrip is going to do perfectly well but again the detail pattern is basically straight vertical so it's very easy to control uh no matter really what underbarrel attachment you're using on this weapon so just keep that in mind basically however you're going to use it you'll see me here again as i said using it on this new map the Melstorm tank factory here in season six and again this is a very close quarters engagement map We're using a little bit of kind of medium engagements here and there but i haven't played with this quite extensively in multiplayer and You'll, and in Warzone, and you could really get away with pretty good medium range engagements if you're good at controlling your recoil. However, I wouldn't expect to be using this like you would like a Kilo, a Meta Kilo or anything like that. A lot of people I see trying to use it that way. Definitely, the weapon is not built for that. It has a, in the game here, it seems to have about a 923 uh, rounds per minute rate of fire on this weapon. So it's a very high rate of fire in the heavy round. You also have a 30 round magazine. So. You're not going to get those significant ranges that you would, especially with the lower bullet velocity with this heavy round. It's a subsonic 9x39mm round, so keep that in mind. Now, really quick, just some giveaway details here. I know I mentioned that in the beginning of the video, so we will be doing the Season 6 giveaway here now that we are in Season 6. So to enter that, all you need to do is to be subscribed to the channel and comment on this video below what your console of choice is. It's either going to be Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. And let me know something that you like or enjoy about Season 6 or want to see come later in Season 6. Anything like that. Really interested to see what you guys think of the season so far, what your favorite weapon is, etc. And that's all you're going to do to enter. I'll probably just keep it to this one video this time around. And also make note that I will be live streaming tonight here on YouTube at around 7 to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely stop back and check me out there. Or if you're watching this, swing over and take a look by the time 
uh, you watch this, I'll be up on live here on YouTube later tonight. So check that out. Giveaway details I will post down below. Again, just be subscribed to the channel and comment below with your console of choice, Xbox, PC, or PlayStation, and something that you enjoy or like about Season 6 or want to see coming in the future. And uh, that's it. Pretty simple. We'll be giving away at least two 30 round, 30 to 35 dollar gift cards for those consoles of choice that you'll be able to win and you can purchase the battle pass with this or use it for different store items that may come up here during the season so let me know down below that information and i'll get you entered i'll be picking a winner most likely sometime this weekend i'll pick a winner for that now the as valley as i said in real life is utilized by specialized operators now it's interesting that we had some of the stock options there were referencing to uh gru as well as the 6p30 so the 6p30 is the garage designation for this weapon as well as the 6p 30M is the ASM Val designation for this. Again, it just basically weapons, uh, experimental weapons prototype development essentially is what the Grout program is. This is actually codenamed the Shaft as well, and the Grout designation, as I said, 6P30. So developed in the, the early to mid 80s and it's been in service in 1987 to present. Same with the VSS Venturas, which we did the video on yesterday. So go ahead and check that out as well. It was first wars was the Chechen award also the second Chechen award it saw service initially in the later half of the soviet afghan war and it's been in many many conflicts ever since most recently uh the conflict in georgia in 2008 and some of the syrian civil wars but not forces are utilizing that in urban engagements as well so it's definitely still used it's a favorite by spetsnaz operators however with the, the cost the high cost for this unit as well as just the complexity to make it it's not widely used anymore. However, it is used mainly in special forces within Spetsnaz group where it is a favorite and very reliable. Similarly, AKM, same thing with the AK-47 AKMs. It doesn't jam, can shoot with dust, snow, dirt, etc. Very reliable platform here. So again, designed and been in service since 1987, manufactured by Tula Arms Plant, same as the VSS Venturas, since they're very similar weapon systems. The unit cost for a single AS Val is around $1,788 us dollars here if we were to convert that from rubles at the time now the number of units built uh, again estimated to be relatively low due to the high production cost and lack of parts for this weapon but there are again significant amounts still in service within spetsnaz units the only other variant for this particularly for the as val is the asm val as i said 6b 30 m would be the ground designation for that we also have other derivatives of this like the vss ventoras and the SR3, SR3M, where we're getting the magazine from here for this 30 round magazine here that you see on this weapon. Now, the mass overall is going to be 2.5 kilograms or 5.51 pounds. The length is going to be 34.4 inches with the stock extended, and that stock is actually foldable stock. I believe it folds to the left, actually, with this weapon, which means when it's when the stock is folded, you cannot have optics equipped, equipped because it will not fold all the way nor will it lock in place so that's one thing to note with that dovetail mount on the right hand side now the barrel length again is 200 millimeters or 7.9 inches that's the base barrel length that we have with this weapon as well as the vlk option that you have for this you have the same barrel length for the weapon now the cartridge again as i mentioned with the vss ventura's video it takes the same cartridge basically the same weapons minus some parts like the stock but the cartridge is that heavy 9 by 39 millimeter sp5 sp6 pab9 spp or the bp and other variants of the other round for this 9x39 if you're not familiar is again check out the video for the vss mentors i did yesterday I go more in depth but essentially think of what the 300 blackout is to the 556 by 45 millimeter it's the same thing except with the parent casing being the russian 762 by 39 millimeter this is a big round especially i know a lot of people make the comparison and confuse it with a nine millimeter round that the mp5 fires which is a nine by 19 parabellum this is significantly bigger very large round and it weighs much more and again it is a subsonic round and it hits very hard and it will put you down quick so 900 rounds per minute is the rate of fire for the as val here at full auto so very high rate of fire very heavy round and again traveling at subsonic so this thing is built for these type of engagements that we're going to be seeing here in the gameplay muzzle velocity is 900 or excuse me 295 meters per second that's going to be 968 feet per second the effective range 400 meters maximum firing range 500 meters typically engagements are within 300 meters with this weapon in real life now the feed system as i said at base here we have a detachable 20 round box magazine there's also a 10 round option and then as well we have the 30 round magazine that we have equipped here from the sr3m of the 9x39 and then we obviously have the options for different sites here like pso's which we actually have an attachment for here in different russian 
objects. But that is the all the information really for the VS excuse me, the AS Val. Now again I did do the VSS Ventura's special sniper weapon yesterday or the DMR variant using the 9x39 SPP or sniper extra penetration, increased penetration rounds. So go ahead and check that out on the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so if you like this kind of content. I have a lot of conversions coming with these two new weapons specifically here in Modern Warfare Season 6, as well as like the video if you're enjoying the content. Also, also social media links are down below. We have Discord, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Those are the best places to get a hold of me if you have anything, any suggestions, anything you want me to look at. And again, we do live stream here Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 7 or 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a few hours there. Mainly Warzone, and we do do 10v10s with the, with the subscriber community as well. So go ahead and check me out. I will be live streaming tonight. This is the AS Val. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this weapon. Which weapon do you prefer so far? Do you prefer the new sniper, the M24 SWS, or the AS Val? I think, hands down, this is my favorite weapon of the game here is the AS Val. I'm in love with this weapon. It's probably all I'm going to use going forward, so... Really, really happy they added this weapon to the game finally, and I won't be surprised if we do see this make an appearance in Black Ops Cold War since that's going to take place in the early 1980s. But I'll leave you guys with that. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Also, giveaway details are down below in the description. And I'll leave you guys with that. This is Buffner Gaming with the AS Val. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.